In the spirit of fabulous living for less, perhaps question, what do I spend my money on? And do I spend the money on the things that I say I value most? We might find out that if our money spending is true to our values, we may actually spend less. Consider all those advertisements that end with priceless. In those ads, the most valuable item is free. Let's break it down into action steps. First, make a list of the things that you value. And second, make a list of the things you spend your money after all the big expenses are paid. Third, compare the two lists, and fourth, evaluate the findings. For example, in a given week, your list of values may have family on top, but your expenditure list may have wardrobe on top. So would an extra pair of shoes really communicate to your children that they are valued? If not, what would? Finally, make a plan. Discover ways to do what we call values living by focusing on your values and how they play out in your expenses, your activities, your time, and your focus. This has been Jessica Romy and Jim Wilberding from New Heights Counseling, a place to grow, to heal, and to reach new heights.